to you. <laughs> so Logan, what do you love about cooking? Oh, well, that, that, I'm gonna try to keep this one a little short. <laughs> but I, mean, I, I love this. This when when it comes to cooking, a, a great great sushi chef told me Nobu lives out in LA. He's really really famous. Great sushi chef. He he came to me, and I and I at the restaurant. And he came in and I met him, and oh, wow. and it, it was just another another crazy experience. But being one of the things that he told me was that the president can have the most important job in the world, but he's not making everyone happy. And understanding that as a chef, your food makes people happy. That when people come to your restaurant, it's your job. Not really to feed them, but to make them happy. So Logan, you recently judged the International Young Chef Olympiad in India. What is that competition about? Oh, it's、um, pretty much about third-year college students、uh, <laughs> in junior <laughs> school.、So、And you were the judge. Co- yeah, I'm. I'm the judge. So there's there's a certain <laughs> there's a certain dynamic there. <laughs> that I mean, it's it's fun because you're a kid and they're third-year college students, and and I mean you're still younger than them, and but you're still you've made it where you are. Of course. And it's you who've done it. I mean, you're 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 the one that's doing it, and they're they're the ones that's competing. So Logan, what are your strengths in terms of cooking? Oh, well. When when it comes to the culinary arts,、um, I would say that it's the ability to layer flavors. Because if you have like really good food, you can taste each individual ingredient, and each individual ingredient gets a shine. So like, let's say, have you ever had Jamaican food? Sorry,、yeah. Jamaican food. Jamaican food. Jamaican no, food. No, no, no. Oh, well, all right. Need to come up with another example.、Uh, um, like an Italian sub. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah.、Ones. Yeah. All right. So you know how like each meat has its own flavor, and how they all work together, and how the lettuce and the tomato and those they give like a crunch, and how like the、um, the oil and vinegar they just add like like、um, an offset, and I like mine with mayonnaise, so I get mayo and. That adds a certain creaminess to it, and understanding that each ingredient works perfectly together. Now, I'm not a big fan of bread, but I mean, you gotta have it for a sandwich. But I'm not a fan. Hello, Logan. I need to give a, I need to give a confession to you and all the head starters out there. So I'm a vegetarian, but when you're describing about your description, I'm thinking of going back to the meat side. Well, you know, <laughs> you know,、um, I love meat. <laughs> I like to eat it, but you know,、uh, have you ever had like vegetables with like butter, like broccoli with butter? Yes. Yeah, that's like really simple with like、yes. salt, pepper,、yeah. butter. You know how you, that, that, that that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then,、um, like, I know that you've probably had some really spicy vegetables. Like、That's、I know、really? that I was there and I had like some delicious cauliflower. Oh. And it was layered with flavor. In a like a curry. Just, like cauliflower. Yeah, was the cauliflower like in a curry or just? No.、Oh. <laughs> it was just like roasted. It was good. It's like the best cauliflower I've ever had. So, but like a like the doll, like you know how that has so many so many different layers of flavor. It's like that. And that's what I would say my greatest strength in, in cooking would be. And Logan was was your mom like your first mentor teaching you about how to cook?、Uh, yeah, mom, mom taught me a lot of a lot of techniques. That's the that's the easiest way to describe it was techniques.、Right. Was like putting putting the fish in the pan, and I used to have a big big like hard time with splatter, like. Frying stuff and splattering. Oh my god, I hate it. It's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> I mean, I I can't stand it. But since I'm taller now, I'm farther away, and 
that's why, I mean, I love using tongs. They're a utensil and I love them because, I mean, they get you away from the splatter. Because, I mean, one time I got it in my eye and I was actually doing like a YouTube video cooking a steak. The splatter hit my eye. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> So, Logan, if you can have dinner with one person, dead or alive, who would they be and why? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. I have multiple multiple answers. Um, I tell you that there there's the one that always works, and that one's uh, my grandpa. Oh. Yeah, he's dead, so, yeah. Um, but definitely I would choose someone dead, because, I mean... There's still a chance that you can go have dinner with someone that's still alive. True. I mean, uh, Logan, actually, let me let me quickly switch up the question. Uh, obviously, for you only because it would make sense. So, if you could cook dinner for any one person, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Ooh, I don't know. I would say that I could cook cook dinner for like Charlie Trotter, because a lot of people who taste my food say it tastes like his. Oh, who's that? That yeah. side. Uh, Charlie Trotter, he's a chef, chef that was in Chicago. I have like, like um, a lot of people give me cookbooks, oh. lots. So I, I never read them. <laughs> I never, ever, ever read them. <laughs> so I just have these like brand new cookbooks that I don't read. But the only ones I've actually like, actually looked inside were Charlie Trotter's. I've looked inside like his dessert one and maybe like his vegetable one. See like how he does his things. Now he's dead, so he's not making any more yeah. recipes. <laughs> and um, just trying to figure out like how he cooked, and figure out whether or not my food really tastes like his. Because if I cooked dinner for him, he'd say, "Oh man, that that tastes like my food." And trying to see if it's really like that, or maybe not. Hey Headstart, I hope you enjoyed that episode as much as I did watching myself. Again. The cameraman's like, what the heck did that thing look like? That's so weird. Anyway, like, subscribe. If there was anything that blew your mind, please comment below. And if you want to watch the full episode as a podcast, then check out the links below. Oh.